Hello, I'm Des O'Grady, and today I'd like to talk about Relative Backscatter Index, which is a new PAT technique that we have developed for particles, crystals, and droplets. Relative Backscatter Index, or RBI for short, is available to users of our Particle View V19 system. Particle View V19 is a probe-based real-time microscope that provides comprehensive process understanding for systems that involve particles, crystals, or droplets. In this video, we can directly observe a crystallization process as it moves from the seeding point through a secondary nucleation event and on to, into a growth phase where the crystals grow out into needle-shaped crystals. Particle View V19 is a probe-based instrument that takes high-resolution microscope images of particles as they exist in process. An internal light source illuminates particles directly in front of the probe window. The light gets scattered back up through the probe and the probe optics where a camera captures the image. Each image that is captured is of a known brightness. This image brightness is equal to the intensity of the light that is sent out through the probe multiplied by the reflectivity of the particle system. The image brightness is known for every image, as is the intensity of the light output. The reflectivity of the system we call relative backscatter index. Relative backscatter index is a function of particle size, particle shape, solids concentration, and also the refractive index of the system, as well as the particle brightness. For most particle systems, refractive index and particle brightness remain constant. This means that RBI is an image-based trend that indicates how particle size, shape, and concentration is changing in real time. Here we have some examples that we will go into more detail on over the next couple of slides. In this example, we follow a crystallization process where the temperature is increased and the RBI decreases over time, indicating dissolution of the crystals. As the temperature is reduced, we can see that the crystals nucleate at a certain point. We have the point of dissolution measured by RBI, as well as the point of nucleation measured by RBI. Combined with the RBI trend, we have the images that go with it. So we can see the size, shape, and structure of the crystals is different at the point of dissolution compared to the point of nucleation. In this example, we follow a temperature cycling event where at the end of a crystallization process, the temperature is increased and decreased periodically. We can see the corresponding increase and decrease of the RBI signal as the crystals change their size, shape, and concentration. Comparing crystal images during the first cycle and the fifth cycle indicate that the crystal size has increased over time and the number of crystals has decreased. This is tracked by the RBI trend. In this example, we follow a basic crystallization recipe where we hold temperature constant, add seed, wait until the seed holds and reach a steady state, then decrease temperature inducing crystal nucleation and growth, and this is followed by a whole period at the end of the process to maximize yield. The RBI signal indicates where the seed is added, that the seed holds, it identifies when the seed reaches steady state, it tracks the growth and nucleation of the crystals, and then indicates when steady state is reached at the end of the process. If we look at the mi microscope images that go with each of these points in the process, we can see what the seed looks like. We can see that there's a secondary nucleation event during the seed hold. We can see what happens as we start cooling and the crystals grow. And finally, we can see what the crystals look like at the end of the process. This combination of real-time microscope images with RBI is a powerful technique. To summarize, RBI is an innovative PAT technique that indicates how particle size, shape, and concentration is changing in real time. 
Combined with real-time microscopy, RBI provides detailed understanding of how process parameters influence particle systems and processes. With this information, scientists are in a better position to understand, optimize, and control complex particle systems. Thank you.